Hey, I'm Jaron Wade with CFRE, www.cfreradio.com, and of course on air at 91.9 FM near the UTM campus. I'm joined today by a very special guest here at NXNE, Mr. Jonathan from Big Black Delta. How are you doing today, Jonathan? Doing well, man. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. Now, first, I want to start things off a little slow. On August 10th last summer, you tweeted, I end up in some weird places. True story. I was wondering, could you tell us a weird place true story? Uh, weird place true f- Oh, my God. Um, wow, you, you got me off, the, off guard here. Um, Oh, you know what? By nature, like touring, especially in clubs and stuff like that, you always end up in a weird, weird place. What is? Oh, you got me so good. What, what's? <laughs> now I feel like I'm, I'm, missing out, or just living in Los Angeles. Uh, there's a lot of weird people there. What would? Can we come back to that one? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Well, even though it's been roughly two months, I wanted to congratulate you on the April 28th release of your latest album, Big Black Delta. How has fan reception been to the album so far? And more importantly, how do you just feel about it being out there? Um, thankfully, people have been amazing about it. Um, there's more people coming to shows now. Um, and it, it's, it's, you know, like anything, giving birth is painful, but then it's then you're, there's a cathartic thing afterwards of like, it's out there finally. Now I can work on the next thing, you know what I mean? So I'm just now thinking about what I'm going to do next, you know. Alrighty, awesome. Well, on April 29th, you had an album release party at the Bar Dot in LA. How was the energy and atmosphere that night, and do you just remember anything about it? Yeah, it was, it was so packed that a lot of my friends had a bad time, because it was just so... Uh, Actually, a good buddy of mine, Suzanne Sunfor, who's she just did that that song with uh, Anthony for that M83 soundtrack. Yeah, you know, here you have this like really big international star, and people were like knocking her over, and she's like, I'm like, I I, I couldn't fucking have a good time, but uh, but I was thankful, um, and it was it was great. It was a lot of energy, and people were losing their shit. So I I, I can't tell you how thankful I was, you know. Well, speaking about high energy and possibly having a bad time. I was wondering, when was the last time you split your pants? Uh, I split my pants at that Bardo show. Okay. And I had, I, I had to, I had to uh, retire those pants, because that was the second time they'd been split. Was it the same pair that ripped out a Jane's Addiction concert? And actually, actually they're seamstress, because they have an entire like production, so they have a seamstress on, a, on their crew. And so after the show, I was like, hey, can you help me out? And she took them, and then I got them in mail like eight eight months later, just because I'd forgotten about it. And then I got a letter going like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Here are your pants." And so, yeah, they're done. They're done. Maybe that could count as a weird story down the line. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, God, I know I have some weird, weird stuff. I just can't remember it right now. Alrighty. Well, prior to the release of your album, I know that you released a few songs online for people to download, and you. Another cool thing that I liked when I was looking at your Twitter page, you thanked all your fans and all your supporters for downloading it and stuff like that. I was wondering, by releasing songs like that early, did it influence your album in any way? Did you take fan reception to heart or did you apply something to production? No, the thing is, is like the, the only way I can do this is not by paying attention to what anybody's saying. Um, I'm just not strong enough of a human being. So like, I, uh, once I put a song out there, it's not mine anymore. You get what I mean? It's like, so if someone says it sucks or they like it or whatever, it's great. I, you know, I have no say in that. Um, so no, it, it didn't because I'm, I'm just constantly trying to write more and more and get better at it. So as soon as it's out and done, I don't even think about it again until I have to play it live or something, you know? Awesome. Well, you're here in Toronto for NX and E. Just a uh, a few weeks ago, you were down in Austin for South by Southwest. I was wondering, how was your South by experience this year? It was amazing, actually. Um, you know, having a, a good friends for band, uh, you know, um, being organized, because that, that, that could be like war down there, do you know what I mean? Um, but it wasn't. It was actually a very pleasurable experience for all of us, and I was, I was surprised. It was my first uh, South by Southwest with Blue Black Delta, you know, and it just went smooth, man. Like, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Alrighty. Uh, I'm not sure if you can comment, but do you think there's a difference or do you, what do you think the difference is between something like North by Northeast and South by Southwest? Um, you mean besides geographically? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I think it's, I think it's this, the same concept, isn't it? Like, you know, just uh, this is what we think 
what a group of people saying this is what we think and what we like and you should check this out in the next coming months isn't it you know what I mean like um, it's there are a lot of prettier girls up here <laughs> <laughs> that's a difference uh, uh, that is a different for sure now your NXNE appearances are part of a month-long North American tour which is roughly I think at the halfway point right now I was wondering how's the tour been treating you has the road been uh, treating you and do you have any more weird stories that happened um, the road has been treating us great like I said uh, you know since the record just came out and, and now we're seeing like twice three times as many people coming to shows and they know the words to the songs which is you know, I don't know if you've ever played a show, but when people know the words and they sing along, it's just, wow, you know what I mean? Um, and, like, all my bandmates are, are close friends. I mean, Cam, my bass player, she's in a band called Uh Huh Her. I've known her for 15 years, and, you know, it's so I'm getting to hang out with friends. This has been a very, very tame one so far. No, no really weird... Um, we just played a show where... A bunch of dancers pulled a fake heart out of a guy and there's blood all over the stage. Maybe that's weird, but not really. Um, you know, knock on wood, no trouble with a popo. So. <laughs> well, at the end of August, you're going to be heading to Europe for the Reading and Leeds Festival. I know it's kind of two, week, uh, two months away, but I was wondering, have you thought about preparing for that trip at any way? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've, never, I've never been to these festivals and I hear they're insane, so... Um, I'm going to try to come up with a couple of, you know, tricks and stuff like that. But also because it's a festival, you got to get in and out. So, you, you, you know, uh, I'm just stoked that I'm doing it, you know. And there's a reason to go to Europe, so. Well, I wish you luck in your trip there, and I hope you have fun. And I guess, finally, is Glee the movie still the craziest thing you've ever seen? Dude, have you seen it? I have not. All right, so, um, I, it was... I had a night of insomnia and it was, you know, my girlfriend was asleep in bed and it was like 4 or 5 in the morning and um, I was having a glass of wine watching this thing. I, I, I would like to have a discussion with you about this after you've seen it so that you can tell me whether or not I'm insane because I have... I, who's ever listening to this, watch it and tell me that I'm not fucking crazy and, and thinking it's like one of the most evil things I've ever seen in my life. Just putting it out there. I, Mind blown. Mind blown. All right, Jonathan, I promise you, if we ever do get to talk to again, and I hope we do, that I will watch Glee the movie next time, and we that will be the whole interview. Synopsis on it, man, because, I mean, if I'm wrong, let me know. Am, am I missing something? Am I missing something? Shit, dude. All right, Jonathan, I want to thank you again for taking the time to chat with us today. I want to wish you the best with your upcoming, with the rest of your tour, with your trip to Europe, and finally, is there anything else you want to add out to all your fans and supporters out there? Oh, I'm, I'm thankful that you even care, and I, and I hope that you're happy. Awesome. Thank you again, John.